Hey, it's Allison with the Zinesville Chamber, and today we are here at Habitat. So tell me about Habitat. How many houses you've built and the mission? Habitat's been in Boone County since 1984. We were the first affiliate in Indiana, so that's our claim to fame. Awesome. This is our 64th house, and we built mostly in Lebanon, but also in Whitestown and Thorntown. Our motto is we're a hand up, not a handout. Yeah. So our homeowners, applicants work hard to move into a beautiful house. And today's the women's build. On this build, we have 34 build days, so we have 34 teams of 10 women. They've fundraised $2,500, and they get their day to build on site. Honestly, this is one of the most exciting builds because the women work so hard. They're very competitive. They want to have done the most amount as any team. They learn new skills. They really step out of their comfort zone. Yeah, you can probably each, take over too, Nikhil. Each team raises a portion of the uh, funds for the build in addition to coming and building on site, but they don't have to have any experience with building to come on site. None of our volunteers do. We have our hammer team that comes on site uh, on a regular basis, typically retirees who are here, you know, one day a week or more and they can supervise and train and people leave really having accomplished something. So you were saying that whenever a, something like this starts, you're done in about 30 days? When well, there's no the, delays. Yeah, 30, 30 build days, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's amazing how much you can accomplish when you have a lot of volunteers. That yeah. is, that really is amazing to see uh -huh. something go from kind of Mm -hmm. raw dirt to a house Absolutely. for somebody. You have individuals from all sorts of backgrounds mm -hmm. that, that end up with these houses. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the people who apply for getting a Habitat house. We have a, a monthly orientation and they uh, just attend the orientation and uh, send in an application and one of the most the things I'm most proud of is we do a tremendous amount of mentoring and coaching our applicants so that they have, have lifelong stability in their house, especially the children that are going into the homes. They have now housing stability for the rest of their life, their forever house. I would say it's two to three years is pretty normal for our applicants, so it is a longer process. They put sweat equity into the house, they take classes, um, but it really is a life-changing a life moment. Not just getting a roof over somebody's head, mm -hmm. it's really equipping them to be a homeowner, to, to uh, be a responsible citizen uh -huh. for the rest of their life. And, and then of course to put them in a neighborhood where then they become a, a force of influence to, to change whole neighborhoods. It really is about so much more than just building a home and getting mm -hmm. people sheltered. It is changing a neighborhood and yeah. it's changing the appearance mm -hmm. of what you know someone thinks of as, as a homeowner and someone right. who's wanting to have a stable life. Right. And yeah. um, that's that's phenomenal that you know there's an organization around to do it. It looks like I'm going to be doing some work on site here today. <laughs> yep. yeah. Yay. I'm excited about it. I brought my gloves, okay. so um, tell me what I'm going to do. Let's get you a, a nail polish and some nails. Uh, oh, <laughs> that sounds like real tools. Okay. definitely going to be able to tell which ones you did and which ones I did. That's okay. The good thing is by the end you'll be a pro. Um, no. So it sounds like you've done a number of these builds and gotten a number of teams together. So. We're helping a total stranger um, house their children. Uh -huh. And I think for the kids, that's a game changer. And I got involved because my parents were involved and they had a love for it. Besides just raise the money, I love being on site and actually yeah. hammering some nails. Well, and I think it's good for people to know you don't have to be skilled, you don't have to be perfect, you just have to be willing. So. What kind of folks are on your team? It started with my church friends, and then I found girlfriends who are in my boot camp, my exercise group, who saw what we were doing and were inspired to help. 
and I, I convinced them that it's great exercise. It is. It is, right? <laughs> so they, they all came and they're getting their exercise. That's right. Digging ditches. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> So if someone was wanting to put together a team and someone was wanting to come and do a build, how do they find out more about what they can do and how they can participate? So they can go to our website, boonhabitat.org, and just click on Women Build, and it's got all the information there. Whenever those of us that have a home or have never been in that position think about that, that's, I think, really important whenever it comes down to volunteering to understand that this is going to change someone's life. Right. You know, those of mm -hmm. us who have never slept on the floor or mm -hmm. who have a bed to sleep in every night, to understand that there are people out here that that's their that's their situation right. and they want to change that mm -hmm. and the fact that other people can give them like you said a hand up not a hand out mm -hmm. it's, it's really important right. to know that other people want them to have mm -hmm. that same sort of life right. um, life-changing stability right. that an organization is willing to give mm -hmm.